Hey, what's happening everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. And last night we had an amazing show on this channel. We interviewed Anna Hill, who is not only an e-commerce seller, experienced selling on Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and she's also starting up her own private label brand, but she's also a CPA. She's been a certified uh, CPA for over 20 years now, and you know it's kind of like the best of both worlds. She's got experience with the e-commerce, and she's got experience with the accounting, bookkeeping. She's a CPA, so I mean, it was a really cool show. If you wanna watch that show, check it out here. But for the folks who don't have an hour to watch this show, I wanted to break down you know, the 10 key takeaways that I got from that show. So if you're running an eBay business, if you're running an Amazon business, Etsy, Craigslist, hitting garage sales, thrift stores, retail arbitrage, private label, e-commerce in general, right? You might be selling through a Shopify store. This video is gonna help you out big time when it comes to bookkeeping and accounting. So without further ado, if you're ready to rock and roll, let's dive into these 10 key takeaways. Now I do wanna say before we get into this video, I'm not an accountant, I'm not a CPA, this is not legal advice. More or less, I'm just sharing with you the key takeaways that I got from last night's video. And again, before you make any decisions, please advise with a professional, talk to a lawyer, talk to a CPA, and that's gonna be your best move right there. All right, takeaway number one, and, and this is a big thing right here, hire a CPA. Hire a CPA. So many people, you know, they came onto the show asking questions like, can I take deductions with meals and entertainment? What if I travel here? What if I do this? What if I do that? And one thing I realized is a lot of you folks, and myself included, you know, a couple of years ago, we try to play CPA. We try to play accountant. We're trying to wear all the hats in our business. And there comes a time where we have to realize, you know what? It's better to hire a professional. So, you know, the, the big thing that I got from Anna is have a CPA. Don't go to those little accounting booths at Walmart and Target. Stop going to, you know, H&R uh, Block and TurboTax and all these different softwares out there. If you're going to run a real business online and when you have inventory, it's complicated at times, especially if you're in e-commerce. You need to have a professional on your side and someone who's, you know, especially someone who's up to date with current taxation laws within your state. So the key takeaway number one, without going into too much detail, and we'll be sure to go into a little more detail throughout this video, is make sure you have a CPA. It's a key player that you need on your team. The second key takeaway, and this is something that I think could help a lot of you folks out, is it's never too late to clean up an accounting mess, right? Maybe you haven't paid taxes in a year or two. Maybe you haven't kept track of your books all year long. The key that I want to get across, and this is so important, is it's never too late. It's never too late to clean up your mess. And there's people out there who can help you from bookkeepers to CPAs, accountants. This video can help you. It's never too late. Don't just give up all because you had a rough start. I mean, I totally understand what it's like. It's hard enough running a business and making money and ma managing your income and expenses and cash flow and inventory. It's hard enough then to go a step further and you know deal with taxes and bookkeeping like trust me i get it but if you're like in a really big mess right now and you're just like so overwhelmed take it a step at a time go out get yourself a cpa and lay out a plan you know of how you could fix this mess maybe they're going to have you print out all your credit card statements for the last year or two and your bank statements and they're going to want to dive through each one and start categorizing it i don't know what it is for you but just get started. Make the decision right now that you want to know what? I accept it. I accept the fact that I'm in a mess. I screwed up. You know, I came from being just an employee to now I'm the employer or maybe I'm just running the show by myself. You know, I didn't understand how to do this all. And give yourself a break. Don't beat yourself up. Understand that you want to know what? You made a mistake and now's the time to fix it. So make the decision to clean up the mess Get with a CPA and start to strategize how you can get yourself out of that mess and get your books and accounting in line. Key takeaway number three. The third key takeaway that I got from last night's show with Anna Hill, who again, I want to say thank you to, she was wonderful, is, you know, when you hire a CPA, look at it as an investment, right? You know, for you e-commerce folks out there who are buying physical goods, when you buy an item, you're looking at that as an investment. You're spending five or 10 bucks 
to sell that down the line for 40 or 50 and there's no guarantee right but you're looking at it as an investment there's something that's in it for you there's a reward and you want to look at it the same way when you're hiring a CPA you want to look at it as an investment because it really is let me put it this way an accountant can help you to strategize an accountant can help you to figure out how your inventory is doing if you should buy more or you should buy less an accountant can help you from overpaying on your taxes an accountant could help you from getting into trouble with the IRS and late fees and penalties and just a whole bunch of different negative things that could happen so I mean I could go on and on about this but look at it as an investment what's your time worth and I'm gonna to touch on this a little more later on in the video but at the end of the day look at hiring a CPA as an investment in your business it's huge the fourth key takeaway that I learned from last night's video is it's crucial to separate your personal from your business now if you've been following my 50 mistakes to avoid series on Amazon lately I talked about this in one of those videos but this also was brought up last night in terms of you know the biggest mistakes that e-commerce sellers make when it comes to their bookkeeping and accounting and that was mixing their personal and business if you've got credit cards and you've got bank accounts separate them off without diving too deep into it if you have a credit card or multiple credit cards have one for personal have one for business if you have you know multiple checking accounts have your business stuff flowing into your business account and have your personal stuff flowing into your personal account separate it off it's gonna make your life that much easier when you're doing your books and God forbid you ever got audited it would be that much easier as well to be able to differentiate personal from business key takeaway number six what's your time worth we touched on this earlier right but what's your time worth if your time's worth 40 or 50 bucks an hour within your business breaking down how much profit you're making versus hours you're spending in your business if your time's worth 50 bucks an hour is it worth your time to spend 15 20 30 hours trying to figure out your books trying to figure out the accounting trying to figure out all the tax rules and codes and all that or would it be a better use to just hire a professional right for me and in my business and again this is just for me it's not worth it at this point in my business to waste all that time trying to figure it out and and really at the end of the day you know I don't I'm not up to date with all the tax codes and rules and how things work and to be honest I'm really not that good at it so ask yourself what's your time worth you might even be able to make more money by hiring a bookkeeper or accountant to take over that part of your business so you could focus on what you're actually good at and what generates revenue in your business the sixth key takeaway that I got from last night's show has to do with cost of goods sold so you know a lot of sellers think that if you buy an item say you spend a hundred bucks at a thrift store you can write that off as an expense immediately but I actually learned that you cannot write off that cost of goods sold until the actual item has sold so for example say you bought an item in 2016 early early on 2016 and it didn't sell until 2017 you can't actually write that off as a cost of goods in 2016 until that item sold so you'd actually write it off in 2017 I know a lot of people make this mistake I've made this mistake in the past so it's very important to put a system in place to know what inventory hasn't sold what inventory has sold and if the inventory hasn't sold yet how much did you actually pay for it so these are very important things right here again this is why it's so important back to you know key takeaway number one hire a CPA it's so important get these key players on your team it's gonna help you to grow your business the seventh key takeaway that I got from last night's show is audits can be random audits can be random that's that's one thing that I learned from last night's show is you know Anna said that a lot of times the IRS will just pick randomly out of a hat somebody to audit now again she also did mention that there's certain you know signs and triggers that may cause the IRS to audit you right but there's also random audits where the IRS will just randomly pick out of a hat and it's happened to a couple people she said that that she knew and they said you know this was random they could just pick you so this is why it's so important to have your books in line get a CPA on your team you know make sure your books are in line have a system because at the end of the day if you get audited you're gonna have to be able to prove your expenses so uh, that's definitely a big key takeaway right there key takeaway number eight 
have a system, right? I just kind of touched on that, but I want to touch on this a little more. Have a system because at the end of the day, if you were to get audited, they're going to want to see what your system is. And for example, we talked about this during uh, last night's show. Say, for example, you're you know going to garage sales and buying stuff. Which which system would be better? Buying stuff from a garage sale and doing nothing and then just writing it off as an expense when the item sells or having a, a, little, uh, a little sheet and writing down the address, the item that sold, snapping a picture of it and saving it in Evernote, right? What system would you know hold up more if the IRS was to audit you? So you know that's just a little example right there. Have a system if you're doing garage sales, you know, snap a picture of the item, write down what did you pay, the address, save it in Evernote or get one of those little notebooks that the Bonafide Hustler has. You get them from Walmart and it's kind of like a little invoice receipt thingamajiggy. Um, but have a system, right? There's so many different systems you can have in place. Talk to your CPA, talk to a professional, put a system in place. And, uh, you know, I, I want to say this right now. I'm definitely not perfect. Um, I'm, I'm actually in the, the midst of hiring a bookkeeper and a new CPA right now. And I'm, I'm learning so much. And that's why I want to make this video because I'm passionate about this because I wish when I was brand new and I started my eBay business, my Amazon business, my YouTube channel, all the different things I'm doing. I wish I would have had my books in line when I had first gotten started. And a lot of these things are just like, they went over my head, but now I'm like, wow, like this is so important. And I want to get this message across to you guys. So I uh, have a system. That's a big, that's a big one right there. Key takeaway number nine. Key takeaway number nine is don't wait until the last minute. I see it happen every single year and you know what? I'm guilty. I admit it. I'm guilty. I do it too. Why do we wait until the last minute to do all of our bookkeeping and all of our taxes? Why do we do it, right? For the folks out there who are saying to yourselves, I don't do that. I'm ahead of the game. I got my books in line. I got my financial reports in line. I'm ready. You know what? High five to you because you know that's amazing and you know I'm super I'm super happy for you but why do most of us why do we wait until the last minute is it because we're lazy or we're procrastinating or maybe we just don't have the knowledge I think it's a combination of of all of them right get a CPA on your team or an accountant strategize with them you know once in the beginning of the year maybe in the middle of the year and then at the end of the year make sure everything's ready to go and you know, when, when tax time comes, you're ready to make it happen. You've got all the information you need. Why do we wait till last minute? Don't wait till the last minute. Be prepared. And I'm telling you right now, I'm working super hard right now to hire these new people on my team because, you know, it's crazy, right? Especially with Q4, as a reseller, the sales are going through the roof. People are buying, they're spending money on Christmas gifts and all that. Why are we worried about taxes? Why are we trying to scurry last minute? Let's get our stuff prepared now. So be ahead of the game and uh, don't be the guy who waits till the last minute, like me typically. All right, guys, so let's dive into the 10th key takeaway in this video. So the 10th key takeaway is we're actually responsible for, you know, getting our CPA the correct information, right? Our CPA isn't going to know every little tiny thing about our business. So make sure, you know, if you're running an Amazon business and, you know, an eBay business or a private label, you've got to really explain to them how your business works because they're not going to, they can't just read your mind. For them to do their job properly, they need to know exactly what's going on. So take the time to explain your business to them. And even to go a step further, make sure you can get them the right information. So make sure you learn how to pull the right reports on Amazon, how to pull the right reports on eBay, how to get them the information that they need. Again, there's Facebook groups out there like Anna's group, Anna Hill's group, Accounting We Will Go. Uh, there's a group that I run alongside with a couple guys, Green Room, the Green Room, greenroomuniversity.com. Check that out. Ask questions, ask people, what reports do I need to pull? How do I figure out my returns? How do I figure out, you know, all the transfers that I got into my account? Ask the right questions and get that information over to your CPA so they can do their job properly. So uh, those are the 10 key takeaways. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, at the end of the day, please hire a CPA. Get an accountant on your team. I know, you know, they can be expensive at times, but look at it as an investment. Get your team together so you can focus on what you're really good at, which is reselling, right? Running your resale business, finding items to buy and sell on these platforms and, you know, getting your customers good deals. So with that being said, guys, if you like this video, do me a big favor and smash that like button below. 
leave a comment. Let me know where you are in the country. And, uh, you know, if you have any tips that have to do with accounting and bookkeeping, leave another comment below. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep up making enough money. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.